Official Congress has invited you to this press conference in relation to a matter that appeared yesterday, yesterday in the newspaper. We will want to present our signed and documentation, but we want to allow the official chair to give a handbook. Secretary will then outline the position of the Commission of Pasa. And uh, in that regard, we will then therefore give Committee the opportunity to identify themselves. Thank you very much, uh, Deputy Chair. Uh, good afternoon. Well, uh, um, we are here because uh, probably one stand accused um, and I'm grateful about the opportunity presented to me to put the record straight. Um, I received a, a document with a dossier from the Deputy Secretary General, Comrade Jesse. According to the DSG, the document comes from Comrade Matthews. Even the cover, the front cover of the document um, indicates as such. Well, I studied the document and um, I then reverted to her to say, I'm going to take a, a few actions because uh, the document contains allegations that I think are scandalous, meant to diminish the goodwill that is bestowed on me by the ANC and the people of the province. I regard the allegation to be senseless and spurious, And in a very serious light. And the fact that uh, these allegations are made by someone that I've worked with for all these years, I find it very unfortunate. But all I can say to summarize uh, what I've read. I could see this as a veiled attempt to destroy, firstly, my political standing as a member of the ANC, as chairperson of the ANC, and as premier of the ANC. It's nothing but mere political posturing. And I further think that these allegations are made to stabilize the ANC structures in the province uh, and to further weaken the confidence that uh, members of the ANC have on me. Now, this is what I've decided to do. Firstly, I'm taking this matter to allow even the, the one person who's making the allegation to say it in court and to be afforded an opportunity to talk in court. Uh, to avoid any further distribution of the document, illegally so, to try and destroy my reputation as a person. So that I've done, I've also indicated to him about that intention I've written to him. And I've also written to the president um, to request him to afford me and him 
because these uh, allegations are not the first to be made against ANC members. At times, these allegations were made to him as premier. And he was never afforded an opportunity to clear his name. Probably, this is an opportunity to clear his name too. I'm requesting the president as president of the country to appoint a judicial commission of inquiry which will clear my name and clear his name uh, so that uh, all of us get an opportunity once in our lifetime to clear our needs. I further written to the Minister of State Security, Comrade Mashogo, and further to the Inspector General to investigate this matter because these allegations are made to me as an individual, as chairperson of the ANC, and as premier. And just to afford all South Africans who may be harboring the same information, the platform, to go and say so, argue against or for. Well, this morning I took the time to brief the officials, I briefed PC, um, and I want also to take this opportunity to brief uh, the people of the province that it's after receiving this document, these are the, the steps that I'm going to take. Until advised otherwise, I want all of us to behave and wait for the outcome. Uh, as much as these allegations are serious, and I'm sure the office of the president will give it the attention it deserves. But at any rate, allow me to handle this matter in court, and the court process will be open to everyone to listen and hear. I appreciate this opportunity to get this matter uh, closed. I have a very difficult in running the province, and probably this presents me an opportunity to close this one matter. I rest my story. <clears throat> Thank you very much. As the provincial chair has indicated that he has briefed both the officials and the PEC, we would then therefore request the provincial secretary to reflect as to how the PEC has viewed and feels about the matter. Can I give the provincial secretary the opportunity? Well, thank you, uh, Deputy Chair. On behalf of the Provincial Executive Committee, we want to say to the people of Mpumalama, the membership of the African National Congress, the membership of uh, the ANC Youth League, the membership of the ANC Women's League, that having received these uh, allegations against the chair, and that having been briefly informed by this matter. In our special meeting convened this morning, as the PEC, we have decided as follows. One is that uh, we want to rally behind Comrade Diti Mabuza in all his endeavor to make sure that he continue to lead the province as a member and the leader of the African National Congress, to continue to lead the province as the premier. We also want to unwaveringly support him to make sure that this matter comes to its conclusion. As he has suggested that uh, he wants it to be handled by the court of law, we are supporting that matter and we want to put more weight in his request to the president that he appoints a commission of inquiry to handle this sensitive and delicate matter. We want to, to say to Comrade Diti Mabuza, you should and you must continue to do your work as you have been 
elected by the people of this province through properly constituted conference of the African National Congress and as the Premier. I want to say that don't be distracted by those who don't want 